fetch up a series of tutorials that uh, will end up making us something that looks a little bit like this. Now, I am presently making this with a grade four class. So it's definitely manageable for just about anybody. And let us get started now. So in this project, we're gonna start from paper, design something so we know the dimensions, take it from this to this, which of course we've already demonstrated can be zoomed out for a really fancy picture for your portfolio that looks like this. It's all ready to go in and set up a folder first so it's right on top, and easy for you to find. SketchUp 2021, for example, or SketchUp 21 to create that folder. So later on when you're saving it, uh, you'll have a place where you can put it uh, that's easy to find. And you probably wanna save it a few times because nothing worse than if you're in a big class, a lot of people using bandwidth and you end up losing some of your work. However, if you've lost work, you're gonna do it again. You'll remember it better, you'll get faster. You are in uh, Google for education, Google Workspace. You can go over here to new, down here to more. And at the very bottom here, we see SketchUp for schools. I'm already logged in, so it might ask you to sign in with your uh, Google sign in, but that's just uh, one more step you'll need to take before you get here. Now that we're inside, we need to go in and make sure we have our measurements. I'm actually gonna get out of this. I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna go to home. Because over here I can choose, we're working with meters, you can choose feet and inches, and this will open it up so that we can get started with the proper dimensions. First thing we need to worry about is tools. Select tool is very important, as is the draw with line tool. And down here, this is what helps us move things. Orbit helps us zoom around like this. Be careful you don't get lost. And if you ever really do get lost and you're not sure which way is up, because you can actually look at it from underground, Shift Z takes you back here. To your main point here, your X, Y, Z axis. On my trackpad with, with uh, my Mac, I can track in and out. You can do this with your wheel if you have a mouse. Also, over here, we can also grab the pen tool, helping us set things up. Now, to make things easy for ourselves, let's get it situated as close to flush as we can. All right, if we go back, so if we're back here at our design, we see we have a five meter by five meter square to begin with. So, drawing with line, if I tap on it, it starts. You see how it's red? That means it's on the red axis. We're gonna use that so we can keep our 90 degree angles. If I just hit five, you notice at the very bottom right, it says length is five meters now. Hit enter, automatically does that. Easy feature. Green, five, enter. Again to red, five and enter. And now I know that this will have to be five as well if I do it this way. Next step, this is really cool. Over here we have the push pull tool. I'm gonna pull it up a little bit. I'm gonna make this type in three for three meters tall. Now I'm gonna get the select tool, grab this face and delete it. So now you can see we're inside. It's a pretty good start, not bad at all. Easy to do. Now we have our first room done. First one's pretty easy on the red line, five, enter. Down on the green line, one, enter. Five again on the red line, and then we can just close that off. The next one we know is one, enter, five, on the red line, five, enter, up to two, enter, and just close that one off. The next one, grab it again. This time it's going to be one, five on the red line, two on the green line, and close that off. Now, for selecting it, grab the select tool, I grab the whole thing, go to our move tool, I move it over nice and close, and then I can grab the corner and join it up like that. Once again, select, grab the whole thing like so. Grab the move tool, move it in nice and close, then I can grab the corner and join it. Now all I need to do is select escape, get out of there, the select tool. Now we can just delete these lines and we have our shape ready to roll. Perfection. And of course, let us not forget, we need to go over here get our push pull tool, bring that up. Let's make this one say 2.5, enter, great. Final step, select the top plane and delete it. Now we have two rooms. Let's join those together, shall we? Let's grab our orbit tool, make sure we can see it. Sorry, I accidentally zoomed there. Now let's zoom out so I can see it, get the select tool. So now we grab this whole thing, get our move tool, get it by the corner so we can group it right up. Wonderful. Now. If we orbit, we can see we're ready to go. Now we're ready to start adding doorways, pathways, windows. So let's scroll so we can see a bunch of stuff here. This is wonderful here because check this out. With the select tool, 
I can grab just this portion and delete that. So we still have our roof up there. So we don't want rain coming in, right? Now let's orbit around a little bit. And uh, we're not gonna make this exact sizes, but you can actually grab this tool as well. If you hover over, it'll tell you it's a rectangle tool. Select it. Now let's make it a reasonable size for a door. Excellent. Grab it, select it, delete it. Now you can see this is pretty cool. We can go right inside our house. What else we want? I think I'm gonna want a big window over here on this side. Select it, delete it, orbit this around. And another window here, why not, right? Select it and delete it. And here, let's do something really fancy here. Let's grab ourselves the circle tool. Grab ourselves a circular window here. It's a weird place for it, we can move that. Here, say, select and delete. And you're just gonna continue doing this. And by the time you've done something and made this simple one, you'll be able to get yourself some confidence, you'll be able to make cooler and cooler stuff. Let's try something over here where we make um, a series of windows. Now, if we can two finger tap on this, over here we can copy it. Then we can two finger tap anywhere, choose where to put it, paste it, and make it line up, boom. And then over here again, on the face, we'll paste it again. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Nice. Now we can select and delete all that stuff. Shift click lets you get it more than one at a time. Delete it, look at that, coming together very nicely, our little dream home here. And uh, I think we're gonna need another big window back there. Grab another one if we wanna have two in there. Another window over here. You know what, we're gonna command Z undo that, or you can of course undo it as well over here. We're gonna two finger tap this one, copy that, and we're gonna place that on here. Line it up nicely, excellent. Now, let's um, select, now let's put one more round window over here. I think that's a nice touch. And let's right? grab this, go over here to our circle tool. Nice big circle. All right, select it. This will be cool, watch this, delete it, and we're in our house. Grab the paint can tool, view list. All right, over here, and we see carpet, fabrics, leather, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, dry green, perhaps. You can tap in there, we got it. Tap it in there, we got it. Actually, if I undo that, hold on the shift key. All right, next, let's get, um, that closed. I want to have wood, a wood house here. I'm gonna grab this one. If I hold down the shift and click it, I can do them all at once, which is a nice touch. Now back up to textiles wallpaper. Okay, I want a nice light sort of wallpaper. Grab this one again. Shift click does them all. There we go. Excellent. Nice work. Now we're all set up. I want to show you something kind of a little higher level here. Let's clean up our house. I go to select. I can get rid of just that line like we did earlier. Now it looks more like a house, doesn't it? Next thing we're gonna do is put a roof on there. Here, let's close that over here. Pan out a little bit, we want some workspace. Zoom out on your mouse or your trackpad, again. Now I wanna make a roof, but I wanna see inside too, so I'm gonna make kind of like a half roof here, I think. So grab our draw with line tool on the green axis. Ooh, see, it looks so different, but it's actually on the right axis. It's just our perspective. Let's go with six on this, because roofs are a little bit longer than our homes. Let's do this, I don't know, say two and a half. Enter, and then of course that would be six again, and close it off. Once again, we're gonna go to our push-pull tool, raise it up, I don't know, 1.5 meters, great. Now, this is the tricky part. With the select tool, I'm gonna select just the one line here. That's important. Now it's the move tool. Grab it in the center, midpoint, and it lets me drag it down like so. Nice, right? Now it's tricky getting it on top. First things first, let's select the whole thing. Move it a little bit closer, and then reorient ourselves so we can try and get it in there nice and snugly. Move tool. I don't think that has worked the way we want it exactly. Back to move, and hopefully it hasn't joined anything. I want the whole thing here. 
All right, that looks not too bad. Let's make sure it's lined up fairly well in there. That looks pretty reasonable to me, but why not make it even better? Move it over just a little bit more. Okay, great, let's get out of here. Take a look, and it's looking pretty good. Uh, what should we do with the roof? Let us select just this side here. Make that look like the same sort of wood, so it matches up nicely. Gotta go here, boom, there it is. Now, let us select and delete this. We wanna see inside. Might as well delete that too. And what about this line? Sure, why not? Now, how about the top? Let's orbit ourselves around here. Don't want a white roof, do we? Back to the paint tool, back to this, that matches. What should we do with the top here? We are lucky in that there's roofing. Maybe this one, let's try that. All right, now go down to orbit and we can see our house. It looks like this, I quite like it. I hope you do too. Now, finally for landscaping, I wouldn't suggest you do too much landscaping because they're vector graphics, so they're very heavy meaning um, they're gonna slow down your project. So I wouldn't go too crazy making a forest. Over here we have something called components. Open that up, you can even type in here tree and it'll show me all sorts of trees I can use. Use this one before, you can just dump it in there. I zoom out, if I want to, I can go to the move tool and resize it by grabbing a corner. And then I can move it however I see fit by grabbing the old move tool. And you can add a whole bunch of those in there. If you want to, you can just two finger tap on it, copy it, double tap to paste it in somewhere else. Okay, in here, copy it. Two finger tap somewhere else, paste another one in there. Once again, don't go too crazy with these. Other landscaping things we can consider doing, things like putting a yard on it. Ooh, look at that, he's in the middle of the middle of the sky. That's not so great, is it? You need to be careful. Tricky things happen all of the time. That's why we have to keep orbiting quite regularly. Now, where were we? If we're gonna add some, we can put a little yard around it if we like. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. He's only in the perspective, we don't need him. Wanna get on top, go over here to this tool. If we want to, we can give ourselves a bit of a yard here. I will go over to materials again. Go to landscaping, there we go. Grab some grass, dump it in there. Well, wonderful. And you can just keep on playing around with it like that. This is about as far as I wanted to take you for today. It's really, uh, it can be a tricky program to get used to, but frankly, it's, uh, it's wonderful. I mean, look what we've made here. Something else, isn't it? It can be tricky. Sometimes you get stuck in something, you're not sure why. Escape is your friend. Oftentimes you're gonna to want to uh, resave things and you want to restart again. Sometimes you get stuck because the, um, the tools might stop working because it is very large. So let's go to save. This can take a minute, so be patient. You want to put it in your Google Drive. You see up here it says saving. It's just taking a minute. Now I've already made myself this SketchUp 21 folder. Select that, it'll be saved in there. Wonderful. Thank you.